All right, we're going to do mission 8 of 10 for the business career agent in EVE. I've compiled all the information you've gathered so far from the various pirate facilities. It's my belief that with everything going on, we might be able to get more military funding out in those areas. This central data core will provide all the evidence we need to argue for it. Please take it to Akura 7, Moon 14, Kaldari Constructions Warehouse for me. I have a friend there who can pass it on to the right people. We can count on you to deliver, make this delivery. All right, so we need to go from our pickup location. We need to take this cargo, which is only five cubic meters, so it should fit in any ship. And we need to drop it off at Akura 7 Moon 14, Kaldari Constructions Warehouse. Right click, set destination. It's only one jump away, so it shouldn't take long. And our reward is actually going to be an implant and if we right click show info it looks like this implant uses slot 5 and it gives us one point of charisma so what this charisma modifier is going to do if we go to our skills and we mouse over some of these groups of skills you'll see that there are certain traits that are taken into account when training this one says intelligence and memory this one says intelligence and memory Let's look around until we find one that has uh, charisma. Those are gonna be like the social ones, here we go. All of the social skills will take into account your charisma and intelligence level. The higher those are, the faster those skills will train. So this implant, once we plug it in, will give us one point to charisma. And if we go to our character attributes, we can see what our current levels are. Now, remapping is not really worth doing unless you have a really, really uh, long-term planned out goal because it'll give you maybe one extra, two extra points in a category. So if we go to character augmentations, that's where you can see what implants you have. So in this case, I don't have any yet, but once we finish the mission and we get it, we can plug it in and then we'll have a bonus to charisma. So let's accept the mission and let's go deliver that cargo. I'm going to close, go to my inventory, and I'm going to see my central data core. That red dot is telling me that's the new item in my inventory. That's what I need to move. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag and I'm going to drop it into my ship cargo. Verify it's there. Now we can undock and just make our way to that station. If you're not in a hurry, the easiest way is just going to be turning on your autopilot and letting it deliver you to the station. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to click autopilot Autopilot. and I'm going to pause the video. And when my autopilot is complete, I'll be at the station where I need to deliver it and I'll be able to complete the mission. To so I'll pause the video and I'll be back there. Drive active. Okay, I've just made it to the station. Now all I need to do is start conversation and complete my mission. Now the reward, again, is going to be at the station where the agent is, not at the station where I did the drop-off. So I'm going to go set the station where my agent is as the destination, and I'm going to request the mission, but I won't be able to actually accept it until I go there and talk to him. So I'm going to undock, make my way back, and then start the next mission. If you're curious to see where your assets are, or you just want to make sure that you got the item in your inventory, you can go to the left, but instead of going to Inventory, go to Personal Assets, or Alt-T by default. And then there you can see uh, all the stations that you have items at, and you can open it up and you can even look and see what all the items are. And there we go. We do see the uh, chip that we need. So. I'm going to make my way back Hope to the drive. station, Active. and in the next video, I'm going to do mission 9 of 10.